I bet you don't know how the elbow joint of the lesser spotted weasel frog evolved. You don't? Right then, God did it. <laughs> this kind of argument is a failure of the imagination. I've described it as the argument from personal incredulity. A metaphor for extreme improbability is a combination lock. A, a, a very good, high-quality combination lock of the kind that they put on bank vaults. A bank robber could theoretically get lucky and hit upon the right combination and therefore get all the money in the bank. But in practice, combination locks, at least the ones in bank vaults, are designed with enough improbability to make this tantamount to impossible, as unlikely as Fred Hoyle's spontaneous uh, coming into existence of a Boeing 747. But now imagine a badly designed combination lock, one that gives little hints, a bit like the childhood game of Hunt the Slipper, where you say, getting warmer, getting warmer, getting cooler, getting warmer, getting warmer. <laughs> Suppose that each time you turn the dial and you get a little bit closer to the correct combination, suppose that the bank vault door creaks open just a chink <laughs> and a little bit of money spills out. <laughs> the dribbling combination lock, which of course the bank robber would instantly home in on the jackpot if he had that sort of clue. The dribbling combination lock is a better analogy for Darwinian evolution than the real bank lock which offers only two poss possibilities, the jackpot or nothing. And the trouble with creationist arguments is that they all think that evolution by natural selection is a jackpot or nothing argument. Nothing could be further from the truth. But God, the God theory on the other hand, really is a jackpot or nothing argument. Because God is postulated as being there from the beginning, before the process of evolution got going. I can imagine godlike beings, like the ones that Crick and Orgel postulated as seeding life from their planet to ours, I can imagine godlike beings such that if we ever met them, I mean, if they came here, for example, in order to have got here, they would have to be godlike because, for sure, we couldn't get there. I mean, they need to be technological wizards of a, of a sort that we have no, no comprehension of. We would worship them as gods, but they would not be gods because ultimately they would have... Uh, evolved by a gradual process. But the God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament, the God of the Muslims, who's always been there, he is the ultimate <laughs> 747. <laughs>